and Moncton. As CTV's Lana Pickerel shows us, even with a delayed start on due to the weather, the city's inaugural street painting festival drew a crowd. With a pop of color and a lineup of talented artists, the inaugural street painting festival brought a new perspective to Moncton's downtown this weekend. So it's not a competition, so it really is just uh, about appreciating the art, and um, it's 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 unique. So it's the magic of, of chalk art is that it's here today, and it's probably gone tomorrow. This year's scene was a history of rock and roll. For Wayne and Cheryl Renshaw, that meant combining her favorite band Rush with her love of gardening. I got my brother-in-law playing the electric scooper shovel, and our friend Stuart on the buckets playing the drums. He's the only musician among them, and he was actually playing the drums as, as Tom Sawyer was on the radio while we were doing this, and Cheryl's on the electric rake. The pieces took a lot of planning, several hours, and cooperation from Mother Nature to turn into reality. Ali Howe fell in love with street art just a few years ago. The things you'll learn are just incredible. Like the, and that's why I love coming to these. Like I'm surrounded by some of the world's best street artists. The free event was designed to revitalize the downtown and had something for everyone, including a kid's chalk zone to help inspire the next generation. By doing these kind of unique uh, events, I think uh, we get a new crowd, different people coming through and, and checking out what downtown has uh, downtown Moken has to offer. And the artists say the art form goes beyond the lines drawn on concrete. Most of the art isn't rubbing the chalk in, it's me talking to you, it's me talking to the people. How did you do that? And we'll tell them. Sometimes I'll even get a kid down and let him play on it, and sometimes I'll get an adult. Uh, I kind of hope it encourages them to play, because I know there's going to be closet artists, and everybody's afraid to try it or try it and gave it up, but I hope it kind of sparks them to kind of pick it up again and get back into it. While the colorful street transformation isn't permanent, officials say they don't suspect it will be the last time they bring talent, beauty, and community to the downtown and change a regular road into a one-of-a-kind piece of art. Alana Pickerel, CTV News, Moncton.